what's up guys i'm saint r edwards welcome back to swift coding for everyone we're on a lesson 3.8 in the book app development with swift and we're going to talk about the view controller life cycle what we're going to learn is the appropriate times to perform work throughout the view controller life cycle and we're also going to learn how to add and remove views from the view hierarchy all right so when you're talking about building logic in your app there are certain times where you want to perform certain tasks the view controller class is very powerful the view controller class is responsible for displaying user data it handles user interaction it also handles events based off the state of the view as it progresses through the life cycle it handles and manages the creations of its views and it also disposes of those views when they're no longer needed all right and so what we're going to do is we're going to build a simple app called lifecycle to demonstrate all of that all right so basically the view controller class has several different states which can be divided into two parts the view loaded or, or view not loaded and then the view loaded or view appeared and throughout those uh, stages, Apple calls its SDK methods, starting with the view did load method, uh, starting off and where you can perform uh, certain tasks. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a new Xcode project and we're going to call it Lifecycle. So let's get that done. So I got mine open. I'm going to create a new Xcode project here. And it's going to be a single view app. We're going to hit next and we're going to call it life cycle surprise surprise save it to the desktop hit create i'm going to change mine to an iphone 8 simulator i'm going to make my screen bigger there we go a whole lot of white space all right so first of all what we want to do is we're going to go to main dot storyboard so we can reveal the subclass of this view controller that we have uh, on our interface builder. So I'm going to click on the view controller so it's highlighted and then I'm going to go over to the identity inspector as you can see right here. And over here in the class section we've got the subclass up which it says view controller. So I'm going to click on this gray circle with the white arrow and it should shortcut us to the view controller file. So after a view controller when a view controller is instantiated uh, this process it will is loaded into memory first of all and this process helps create the views that the controller manages and so the first method as you can see and even on page 375 what we just discussed is the view did load method so what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate something by doing a simple print statement so we're going to just say print and we're going to say, let's say something like this. We'll go first view controller, uh, cat. First view controller, and we'll say view did load, exclamation mark, or whatever you want. And so, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to command R on my keyboard to build and run the app. And we're going to check this out. So after our app is up and running successfully, you will see the print statement that says view did load. And I need to change that because I don't want that to happen like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to get this on the same page here. All right, so the view did load. As you can see, all right, got my simulator up. So view did load, as you can see down here in our console, uh, or in the uh, debug area. Okay, so we got that. Cool, good stuff. I'm going to minimize it by hitting Command M. And the next method, well, other things that you can do in the view did load is you can instantiate or initialize other views. You can start network requests and uh, so much more. All right, but so we're gonna go on to uh, view will appear. All right, so we're just gonna start typing view uh, will appear, and there we go. We've got override, and so we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna do super dot view will appear, 
and we're just gonna say animate it just like that so what is so what's up with this override and the super so the override implementation of the method um, basically tells basically tells our super class or our parent class which is up here UI view controller it's basically saying hey we know that uh, you have something you have this similar uh, method in your class as the parent class but we want to implement our own version of it all right and so what's up with the super well the super class is needed because there are other things that that may the super class may be handling to prevent errors and so since we don't know what the UI view controller class is actually doing for us it's good to call it anyways and so this is how you usually want to do it you want to make sure that the super class is is within the first you know the first line that you call your code or you're writing your logic and so yeah that's what we're gonna do so here we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna say print first view controller view will appear and then we're gonna be able to run that again but afterwards we're gonna do this we're just gonna go ahead and, and do view did appear make sure you don't do disappear and again we're gonna say super to call our super classes implementation of it just to say hey we actually do want to use you anyway because you might be handling something for us that we don't know about so we're going to say view did appear and we're just going to type animated in there and we're going to say print and we're going to say first view controller we're going to say view did appear if i can spell all right view did appear so a few things that you can do in the view will appear or one of the things you can do is if you were building an app for instance that had something to do or that was using the user's location this is something that you want to do and the view will appear because once the view appears you can take advantage of the user's location all right and then once the view appears uh, a few different methods or a few different uh, logic things that you can put in your app uh, is something that takes a long time to do okay so you want to put that here like uh, animations or, or, or other um, data access type of things that may take a long time you will want to put that in the view did appear all right so we're, we're going to command run our app one more time and let's see so as you can see down here in our in our console slash debug area you can see that the view did load we got that first we got the view will appear and then we've got the view did appear all right just as we expected all right so I'm going to minimize this again by hitting command M and then we're going to add our last two methods we're going to just say uh, view uh, will disappear and then we're going to go view did disappear all right and so again we're going to say super dot view uh, will disappear and then we're going to say animate it and then we're going to print first vc or view controller view did this up this up here and then down here we're going to say print I know I know first view controller view did this up here I messed up will disappear and then down here we need to override it or we need to call the super classes implementation of it anyway you did disappear and we're just gonna hit animate it all right cool now these last two won't work I'm gonna get rid of this override uh, did receive memory warning now now these last two won't work because we don't have a second view controller up yet we're gonna do that in the next lesson but for now let's just talk about it so the view will disappear so this happens when the person the user hits the back button 
or chooses a different tab on a tab bar controller or hits the home button um, you know to to get out of the app or do something else all right so that's when the view will disappear it's called and the the view did disappear obviously is when the view is no longer on um, the screen and so that's when that's called so you can uh, be for you can be for sure that the view is no longer um, up and running anymore when the view did disappear method is called all right and so we don't have to command run it um, again because like I said these last two methods are not going to be run until we have our second view controller we're going to do that in the next lesson but this is St. R. Edwards with Swift Coding for Everyone. Thank you guys for joining me. Stay tuned for more. Y'all take care.